Hello everyone, I'm David Davis, also known as Rainbow Runner. And look whose truck that is. That's of course mine, the Fantastic Ford. That is the nickname I gave to it. This is a 1993 Ford F-150 XLT with a five-speed manual transmission. I got this back in January 2017. And just before I got my driver's license. And it's definitely been through quite a lot. Now, you may or may not remember back in 2018, one of the first videos I've uploaded, or first set of videos technically I uploaded, was a tour of my truck. And that was kind of, you know, low quality, different camera and stuff. But since I now have a, a better camera on my Google Pixel 3, I figured I might as well give you guys an updated tour of the truck. So, yeah, as you can see, yeah, again, a 1993 Ford F-150. There is, you know, one of the sides with the camper shell visible, two of the two gas tanks. And as you can see, there's a mismatched color fender. That was because um my grand my grandfather owned this before I did. And um he hit a deer when he was on his way to Utah. So yeah, that's why the color of the fender is mismatched. And there's the front of it, which again, pretty good with the headlights. And now all four, I recently got new tires um, for my truck. Um, all four tires now have hubcaps on them or only a couple did before on my previous set. There's the antenna. And then you got the back with the camper shell, which I did take off when I was first learning to drive this because this is a stick shift, but eventually I put it back on and I've had it on since. There's the little things on the top. And, um, Yeah, again, you got your trailer hitch. You have the bumper, which is actually bent. Um, that, this is actually my fault. I accidentally clipped a pole when I was done, when I was pulling out after getting gas. Um, and again, camper shell. Um, there are two gas tanks, of course. That's how uh, many of the Ford trucks around this era were. Yeah, again, hubcap here. It's pretty nice with new tires and stuff. Now I'm gonna show you the inside of the truck, which of course has these little buttons. And actually, let me sh I'll show you my what my keys look like. Um have my keychain and this is with my name on it. I actually got this at the Hoover Dam back in 2012. <laughs> I have several different keys. The ones for my truck um, are this, which, you know, has is for the engine. This one is the one that opens the door. They are separate. And um, the keyhole on the passenger side does not work. It only works on the driver's side. And you got your mirror here, mirror here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna open this up, press the button. Yeah, and you have the door panel, which definitely has seen better days and stuff. Um, it's kind of coming loose, but I kind of bolted it down. Same thing on that side. You have um, the this is a metal door handle. Um, this is the third one I've owned. The previous two broke. I, re I remember when I had the original door handle, which was more plastic, and I had a metal one like this, and then another metal one right now, as you see. And... Eventually, I had trouble opening the door from the inside, so I had to roll down the window open, and pop it out from the outside to get out, which, but I am, but now I, that's fixed. And you have, you know, power windows and door locks. Um, this is thing where you can open, um, hang on, let me think. Oh yeah, yeah, like, like that. This is helpful, like, if you lock yourself out. Although I have neglected to do that in the past, which I have paid the price for. And then you got the inside, you got your rear view mirrors, the visors, 
the light with oh, these little things. Um, this used to have a cover and stuff, but that broke off. The windshield is a little bit cracked, but it's nothing scary looking. And um, these are my parking permit stickers for when I went to Chandler High School. And um, there, and my parking permit for my senior year is up there. Um, yeah, I started. I drove for most of my second semester, of my sophomore year, all my junior year, and all my senior year. Anyways, and then you got the cab. Again, power windows. Um, one for the driver's side, one for the passenger side. And then you have the automatic uh, door locking. Let me zoom in so that you can see that. I'll, I'll show it from this side. Let me zoom out. Okay. Okay. That's enough of that. You have your dashboard with... um lights control which can control the lights on the dashboard you can dim it right and then twisting it another time will um, open the cab turn on the cab lights if you're inside without it and then pull further to turn on the headlights which yeah and yeah it beeps at me because you don't, you don't want to run down the gas tank you got your switch to toggle between the fuel tanks I'm currently using the rear tank so and the rear tank, I believe, gets a little has more, more gas than the front tank. Or what I'm trying to say is, um, it it can hold more gas than the front tank. You got your fuse box here. I won't open your hood thing. To, the thing to open your hood. You got your parking brake. Oh, and then you have a release toggle right here. But um, it's, it'll usually stay in place if you're in gear. And then you got your pedals, your clutch. You got your brake. And then you got your gas. And then this is the gear shift. You got one, two, three, four, five. Those are the gears. When it's in the middle like this, it's in neutral, and then all the way right and down reverse. This is not a tutorial on how to drive stick shift. If I do make a video like that, they'll be separate. And then you got your steering wheel, um, cruise controls I've never really bothered, bothered with, even when I'm driving on highways. This is the third steering wheel cover I've owned. And yeah, the other two were kind of getting beaten up. They've been through a lot. Um, and actually, I actually had trouble getting this one on. I couldn't do it by myself. I actually had to get one of the AutoZone employees to help me with that. And then you got your... Okay, somebody's coming up right here. So right now you got your... Um, um, stuff like the temperature, oil, battery, fuel. You got your... Um your things, uh, wait, the speedometer, the odometer, and then your RPM meter. Um, let me put in the, I'll show you how much, how many miles it has. 227,439.5 as of, um, January 24th of 2020. And then, um, uh, on the side right here is the ignition. Um, this right here is to lock it. And then you've got, again, your um, AC stuff, controls, which I did get new switches for. Um, your um, a CD player with radio. Um, that's all it has in terms of. And then you actually have a power outlet where I have used to charge my phone. This is a UBSC port. And then you got your um, glove box. Just some stuff like extra parts. Even have a few CDs in there. You have, yeah, the, the, this truck does not have built-in cup holders in the front, only in the rear. 
So you got this right here, which I use for drinks. Um, I have some taco sauce from Jack in the Box. I store a seatbelt for the front middle. And then right here is pretty much the stuff for on the passenger side. The passenger door handle on the interior is still original to the truck. And I'll show you opening the the interior or the exterior of the truck from the outside on the passenger side. Yeah, and this keyhole does not work on the passenger side. Objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And actually I'll I'll show you how the the back opens. Um the back has a little um toggle handle like this that's when you, it'll open up like that. Now I'm going to, because the lever to scoot the bench f forwards or backwards is on the, on the driver's side, I'm going to do that here. So it's uh, right down here. I don't know if you can see it, but hey, I'm going to set the camera down so I can scoot it forward. Okay, there we go. And then... And I'll just say, um, there isn't a whole lot of leg room when it's, um, when it, the, when the bench is all the way back and stuff, and that's kind of problematic for tall people like me. Um, but of course I always have it back because, you know, I'm tall and that's how I drive. You got your, I just have some random stuff. I got rugs, some on the floors, the seat belts. Let's see right here and here, the back window, and then, oh yeah, built-in cup holders are back here. The seatbelt's here, and then seatbelt here, another cup holder. All right, so, and then in the back, you got some stuff, which I will show off. Hmm. Yeah, and they also have some speakers for, like, radio. Ugh. And let me get out. All right, and I'm going to throw my charger up here. Okay. Now I'm going to open up the camper shell, and I'll show you what that's like. So you turn it vertically, lift up, and then I grab this handle to drop the tailgate. Yeah, and I have some random towels and stuff, and I have some other tools in the back, like I have this um this pipe wrench. There are these little clamps that hold the camper shell down. Um, the light don't work right now, but it, it's supposed to be wired to the battery. So, and um, yeah, you got windows, which do actually open. Um. But I'm not going to bother with that right now. I actually had a battery-powered light and some stuff. Um, that though I think those have run dead. Um, oil is just a random cardboard box, a lug wrench, my toolbox, and my spare tire. Which this one does not have place to put hubcaps on. And um, yeah, and that says Ford right there. All right. Let me get out. Let me close the tailgate. And of course, um, you may saw earlier, um, the O on the Ford is missing. Um, the R and D have come off too, but we were able to put them back on with tape. However, I was never able to find the O. All right, that's the camper shell. And of course, what could a car tour be without showing me the, the engine. Actually, I'll do that in just a second. Um, yeah, there's also a light right there, which turns on when the cab is open or the doors are opened. Um, obviously, it's not that visible because, you know, the camper shell's on. All right, well, yeah, right there's the lever to pop the hood. All right. May have to 
set the camera down here as well. Hang on. Actually, you may be able to... Hang on. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is what the engine looks like. This is the little rod to... Um, Because there's, I actually have a jack for to change a tire right here. You got the battery, which is, which I did get replaced um, back in August of 2019. My original one died completely. They lasted surprisingly long for Arizona standards. Um, yeah, I, I'll probably have to get an oil change sometime. Caution fan, got a radiator. Um. Yeah, there's actually a little top thing right here to that um, helps to pop the hood. And then radiator coolant, washer fluid, which I should probably do. There's my belt, my uh, power distribution box, the oil dipstick. And then um, that far thing right here that I'm zooming in the with the black cap, that you... That was pretty much my reservoir for, I believe, clutch fluid. Um, so, yeah. Now, this truck has definitely been through a lot since I've had this. Um, in twenty in August 2017, on my way to school, um, the drive line um came loose. the The rear part of the drive line. So, we had to get new joints for for that. And of course, this is rear wheel drive, like you'd expect of a pickup truck. But yeah, and apparently, um, it's every 100,000 miles or so that the joints on the drive shaft have to be replaced. And symptoms of loose joints are pretty much some big vibrations when driving. And then, what it was saying about um, the reservoir, um, at the end of 2017 and a couple points throughout 2018, um, I would run, I think there was like a, a leakage in my reservoir. So I had to, you know, put more brake fluid or clutch fluid in there so I could, you know, use the clutch and stuff. Um, and eventually, um, you know, we had the clutch replaced. We had pulled the transmission out so that we could replace that and, um, replace the clutch and then we also um had a what was it uh i think maybe possibly new spark plugs because there were sometimes this when it would sputter or when i was trying to accelerate and then other things uh i did get a new ac uh, you know it's and then most recently of course i have my tires my new tires with hubcaps which look pretty nice so yeah i'm really proud to be the owner of a built ford tough truck ford would definitely be my favorite car company let's close the hood yeah i'm not sure how much longer i'll have this truck but but I'm I'm really glad to own it. So, anyways, guys, I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Um, and make sure you, again, subscribe and turn on notifications for more. Or leave a comment if you happen to have one about, like, what vehicles you've had. Um, and like the video. Just make sure you stay tuned for more. Anyways, thanks again, everybody. Rainbow Runner will be heading out for now.